and I'll work through some examples here. So we're going to divide the polynomial 10m cubed plus 4m squared plus 2m plus 8. We're going to divide that by m plus 1, another polynomial, not a monomial, not a single termed uh, expression, but a uh, two termed expression. So first of all, we need to talk about a little bit of vocabulary. Um, we need to remind ourselves of way back when in elementary school, when we did long division, what does, uh, what do we call all of these terms? And how do we set up the problem? Okay. <clears throat> uh, the term under the doghouse, so to speak, that's what I call it, is uh, the dividend. M plus 1 is the divisor, what you are dividing by. And our answer that we're going to put up here on the top is the quotient. Okay, so that's just a little bit of vocabulary that we need to have established. Again, I would not attempt to write down the steps that I have just kind of follow along with the process and you have the steps there on your paper. Written out words if you need them. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to start by dividing the first term of the dividend. So in this case, 10m cubed. We are going to divide that by the first term of the divisor, um, which in this case is m plus 1. Now on your paper they encourage you to circle those. It's kind of up to you. That may help you kind of focus in on what you're trying to do. Bless you. Okay. Divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor. So 10m cubed divided by m. Well, 10 divided by 1 is 10 and m cubed divided by m is m squared. Remember when you divide with exponents you subtract. Okay. And so we're going to take that number and we are going to multiply it by the entire divisor. So we're going to multiply it by m plus 1, all those terms, and we're going to put the result under the line. I'm going to have to rewrite this several times. Um, and subtract. Now, when you put the 10m squared up here on the line, it is best to line it up with uh, the term that has the same power. Okay, so I put it directly over 4m squared um, just because that keeps your work organized and it's going to help you know when you're finished with the process. If you don't keep it lined up, things are going to kind of get jumbled up and um, you're going to make mistakes. Okay, so 10m squared times m is 10m cubed. That is supposed to happen. You're supposed to get the exact same term. 10m squared times positive 1 is positive 10m squared. Now, we need to subtract. You need to be careful when you subtract. You've got to make sure that you subtract both terms. Um, some people find it easier to change the signs of what's on the bottom line and add. Um, it's usually about half and half what people prefer to do. So whatever works best for you. But 10 minus 10 is 0. 4 minus 10 is negative 6m squared. Bring down the remaining terms. So bring down the plus 2m and bring down the plus 8. So, we've got to keep going here. We need to divide the first term of the remaining polynomial. What I mean by remaining polynomial is this one right here at the bottom. We need to divide negative 6m squared by m. That's going to give us our next term, so that's going to give us negative 6m 
So that goes in the next spot in our quotient, minus 6m. And then we're just going to repeat those steps until there's nothing left to divide. So negative 6m times m is negative 6m squared. Negative 6m times 1 is negative 6m. Subtract or change the signs and add, but negative 6 minus a negative 6 is 0. 2 minus a negative 6, subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive. So that gives us 8m. Bring down the plus 8. Then we divide the 8m by m. That gives us 8. When we multiply, we get 8m plus 8. And so when we subtract that, we get 0. We have a remainder of 0. Um, if there is a remainder, you put it over the divisor and add it to the quotient. We'll look at an example of that here in a minute. Um, but in this case, we do not have a remainder. So really what this is saying is uh, if you do not have a remainder, that means that your divisor is a factor of that polynomial. So what this is saying is that I can rewrite 10m cubed plus 4m squared plus 2m plus 8. I can express that as m plus 1 times my quotient, 10m squared minus 6m plus 8. Okay, I can factor that. Now, I don't really, uh, let's see here. No, that wouldn't be able to be done by grouping or anything like that. So I wouldn't really be able to factor that, so to speak, on my own. But when I divided it and I ended up with no remainder, that's what it means. Okay, my divisor times my quotient gives me the dividend. So let's look at another example. Let's divide 8m cubed minus 14m squared plus 1 by 4m plus 1. So when we set up this problem, we've got 4m plus 1 divided into 8m cubed minus 14m squared. We're missing a term though. We don't have our linear term. Just the plain m is missing. We need to put a placeholder there. Okay. Now technically it's not the end of the world if you forget about it, um, but it's another case of where your, your work is going to get jumbled up and you're probably going to make a mistake if you forget to put that placeholder there. Okay, so um, let's begin by dividing the first term by the first term of the divisor. So 8m cubed over 4m. Some people really do find it helpful to do this over to the side. Uh, 8 over 4 is 2. m cubed over m is m squared. Make sure you line that up over the term that has the same power, 2m squared. Multiply it by 4m and 1. And then we're going to subtract. So 8 minus 8 is 0. Negative 14 minus 2 is negative 16m squared. Bring down your 0m and your 1. Now we are dividing negative 16m squared by 4m. That gives us negative 4m. Negative 4 times positive 4 is negative 16m times m is m squared. Negative 4m times 1 is negative 4m. Here is where 
it makes a difference. That's why you need that zero there because otherwise you're going to be trying to do 1 minus 4m and, and you can't do that because they're not like terms. Negative 16 minus a negative 16 is 0. 0 minus a negative 4 makes that positive 4m. Bring down the 1. Last step, divide 4m by 4m. That is, of course, 1. So then multiply. 1 times 4m is 4m. 1 times 1 is 1. When we subtract, we get 0. So our answer to that division problem is 2m squared minus 4m plus 1. That is our quotient. Okay, I think I have two more examples I want to do with you guys. Okay, 4m squared plus 28m plus 37 divided by m plus 5. I would probably go ahead and just skip to setting it up. Don't worry about writing it the way that I have it written first. Just set up the division. All right. First things first. Divide 4m squared by m. That gives us 4m. Make sure you line it up. Multiply 4m times m is 4m squared. We're finally not multiplying by 1 anymore. 4m times 5 is 20m. So where are you getting the 20m from? I'm multiplying it by both, both terms in the divisor, the m and the plus 5. Up to this point, it's always been plus 1, but now it's plus 5, so... That's why we get something different. Okay. 4 minus 4 is 0. 28 minus 20 is 8m. Bring down the 37. Now we're dividing 8m by m. That gives us just 8. Multiply 8 times m. Multiply 8 times 5. Subtract, 8 minus 8 is 0, 37 minus 40 is negative 3. We finally have a remainder, so beside our quotient up here, since it's negative, we'll do minus 3 over the divisor. That's how you should always express your remainder. Okay. One more problem. One more problem here. 18k minus 4 plus 24k squared divided by 6k plus 6. This one looks a little different because it's not in standard form. Uh, you have to put it in standard form when you set up the problem. Okay, you can't just put it in the order that it's written if that order is not standard form. So we need to rearrange our dividend to be 24k squared plus 18k minus 4. Long division will not work if both the dividend and divisor are not in standard form. So 24k squared divided by 6k. 24 divided by 6 is 4. k squared over k is k. Multiply it by 6k plus 6, so we get 24k squared plus 24k. We subtract, we get 0. 18 minus 24 is negative 6k. Bring down the minus 4. Negative 6k divided by positive 6k is negative 1. Multiply negative 6k minus 6. 
subtract negative 6 minus negative 6 is 0, negative 4 minus